I'm Clara, and I love ships and naval history. My field of study are revolutionary and Napoleonic wars at sea, so I'm frequently asked which warship of that time is the biggest. Well, let's talk about the biggest ship of the line. At the beginning, I need to address some facts. I already mentioned on this channel that most powerful British ships had 100 guns, and the biggest French warships had 120 guns. Biggest Spanish ships had usually just under 120 guns, usually 112. And one of those had named Santissima Trinidad and was launched in 1769 in Havana. This ship saw her first action in American War of Independence, which Spain entered alongside France. In 1780, Santissima Trinidad took part in capture of British convoy consisting from 51 vessels. And two years later, she participated in Battle of Cape Spartel in Mediterranean Sea. Here, she also met with HMS Victory, one of the biggest warships of Royal Navy. At the end of American War of Independence, Santissima Trinidad was reconstructed and the number of her guns increased on 130. Thanks to that, she became the strongest ship in Spanish, and not just Spanish, Navy. With this reputation, Santissima Trinidad, now a flagship of the fleet, sailed into an engagement with British Mediterranean fleet near the Cape St. Vincent on February 14, 1797. Fleets sailed parallelly to each other when the wind turned into favor of Spanish ships. Santa Sima Trinidad and others decided to sail behind the rear guard of Mediterranean and encircle the enemy's fleet. But Commodore Horatio Nelson found out about Spanish intentions, sailed from the British line and attacked the flagship of the enemy, our dear Santa Sima Trinidad. Nelson's ship, HMS Captain, had only 74 guns, so she didn't stand much chance against Santissima Trinidad's 130 guns. That was the reason why, after firing a few full broadsides on each other, HMS Captain rather attacked two bit smaller ships. Well, smaller. One had 112 guns and second 80 guns. By the way, HMS Captain captured both of them. In the meantime, Santissima Trinidad had been attacked by five another British ships of the line. Between them was, for example, HMS Excellent, which was captained by future admiral from Battle of Trafalgar, Cuthbert Collingwood. HMS Orion was also between them, and this ship was captained by future admiral from Battle of the Nile, James Saumarez. Also between them was HMS Culloden, who would took part in the Battle of the Nile a year later. Santissima Trinidad was rescued from the heavy gunfire by Principe de Asturias, remember that name, and one another ship. At the end of the battle, she was heavily damaged, so she sailed to Cadiz for repair. In the Battle of Cape St. Vincent, Santissima Trinidad also met her old friend and flagship of Mediterranean fleet, HMS Victory. Mediterranean fleet won the battle and Commodore Nelson became well known in Britain. In 1802, Santissima Trinidad got an additional deck and another 10 guns. That made her 140 guns ship of the line with four decks. Santissima Trinidad became the biggest warship with sails in whole history and only four decker ever built. Until October 1805, Santissima Trinidad stayed in Cadiz. Unlike other Spanish ships, she didn't took part in Franco-Spanish fleet trip to West Indies which I mentioned in my video about HMS Bellerophon. On 21st of October 1805, Santissima Trinidad and HMS Victory crossed their paths for the last time. And they literally crossed each other path, since British fleets sailed to the battle in two columns vertically to Franco-Spanish fleet, 
with the intention of cutting the line of the enemy. Victory's column broke the line near Santissima Trinidad. But those two didn't engage each other since HMS Victory was entangled into La Reduta and Santissima Trinidad was engaged by approximately five another ships. After a brutal fight, she changed into a floating brick and was forced to surrender. Battle ended victoriously for Mediterranean fleet, who captured more than 15 French and Spanish ships. Rest was either sunk or managed to escape. And that was the case of the flagship of Spanish fleet, Principe de Asturias. I told you that name will be important. And I'm also obliged to mention that the Battle of Trafalgar became probably most known naval victory in whole history. The storm followed shortly after battle and a lot of captured ships were sunk by it. And Santissima Trinidad met this fate. Biggest ship of the line ever built ended in the borders near her Spanish homeland and have been resting there ever since. Santissima Trinidad may hold the title of the biggest ship of the line, but is overshadowed by HMS Victory and another generally known ships. I think personally that this Spanish hero definitely deserves more love and general recognition. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and even learned something new. Resources I used will be linked down below, so feel free to explore Santissima Trinidad beyond this video. I hope I'll see you next time.